I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Navajo Hogan. I take three fingers on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line over to the left off the page. I come back to the dot and I'm going to draw a curved line up, curved line over, curved line up, curved line down, curved line over, curved line up, curved line curve line down off the page. Right about here I'm just going to draw a flat oval. Okay? I come over to this space and I'm going to draw straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, and leave it floating. I come inside and I'm going to draw straight diagonal, two straight diagonals, straight line across, straight diagonal, two straight diagonals, and leave it floating. I come back over here on the inside and I'm just going to draw a curved line up, over, and leave it floating. I'm going to come back over and I'm going to draw a curved line up, over, down, and leave it floating. Come up to the top over here we're just going to draw a floating curve line down. Come over here, floating curve line down, floating curve line down, floating curve line down. Come back over here and we're just going to draw a slightly curve line up, over, up, and connect. We're going to draw a line going down, slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right, and if you can fit it, try and mimic that line again across and over. Okay? Now, come over here on the left, and we're just going to draw slightly curved line over, curved line up, slightly wavy line over, curved line down, keep going, crashes into that, bam, jump over, curve line off the page. Come back up here to the space right here. We're going to draw a straight line, curve line, wavy line off the page, straight line, bam, it crashes into that, that's okay. Straight line, curve line, keep going, keep going, bam, it crashes there off the page. Come up here and we're just going to draw Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Once more, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Okay. The whole entire space now below is going to be filled in with slightly wavy lines, jump over, slightly wavy lines all the way to the edge of your paper. Keep going. Down here, let's just put some flat ovals. And then let's continue our slightly wavy line, slightly wavy line, going across. Slightly wavy line, going across and off the page. Okay, I think that's all. Come up here at the top of this space and let's just put one, two, slightly wavy lines. Okay, I think we're ready to color. Okay, the interesting thing about this drawing is you're going to take your red and you're going to do a loop-de-loop -loop across everything that we just drew. Because the whole entire, I'm going to do the, this is the foreground, background, middle ground, I'm going to do this space first before I hit my Hogan. I'm going to do all of this with red. 
and the reason why is we are going to layer the colors onto the actual Hogan dwelling and the reason why it's all red is because this is red rock country and it literally is red a red landscape okay so you're going to go ahead and do all of this red not real dark but you can put that layer of color on top okay do this space first now we're going to come in and we're going to follow the lines with red that we just drew of the Hogan and that's because the whole entire dwelling literally melts into part of being part of the landscape so that when you look at the whole entire landscape or the countryside you almost don't see them they're, they're melt into the whole entire setup of the environment around them and I've said this before about the Native Americans is that it's almost like they camouflage their places where they live okay I'm going to go ahead every time I see a black line I'm gonna put a red line across the top down the sides now I take my red and I fill in with another light loop-de-loop. -loop. This is usually countryside that you would find in Arizona. It's got red rock country and literally the whole entire landscape is this red adobe look. Okay. Now you're going to take a brown and you're going to also go over the lines that you just drew. Your, this is your doorway. This you can fill in with the brown. Okay. And this part of the structure is really the only part that is wood. Because there isn't any wood. There's no wood. And this is, you can fill in darker. This is for the chimney for the fire. So now I'm going over everything in my Hogan, Hogan with brown. Okay, I'm doing lines. I'm not really coloring it in quite yet. Now I go over it and color it in with a loop-de-loop -loop line. Okay, I do the Hogan first. Once I've done that, now I come in and I'm going to do these flat ovals brown, this brown. I'm going to again use my brown and add, if I have a black line, go ahead and add some brown lines because it's all rock. Bring it all the way up, jump over, this is a mountain. Go ahead and add. The easiest way to do it is if you see a black line, go ahead and add a brown line over it or next to it. Okay, and like I said, it's almost like doing camouflage. Now that I've done the brown lines, I come in and I loop-de-loop -loop over everything. Now, I'm doing my section separately because then my textured crayon work works separately. If I went and took my crayons and did like that all over the place, I wouldn't get the differentiation between the Hogan and the landscape. And there is a differentiation. But like I said, it's almost like their dwellings are camouflage, which isn't necessarily a bad idea for being out in the open landscape like they are. Okay. Once I have done that, I'm going to take a turquoise blue, blue green, and this is what's always so paramount when you see these in the open landscape are these intense blue skies. So rather than use regular blue, I'm using my blue green to bring this out. You will do a way better job. Try not to get your clouds, but work it so that you get that solid blue look. 
turquoise blue. Okay? The very last thing you're going to do is you're going to take your black and lightly you're going to come back in and go over everything you've just drawn with a little bit of black like your doorway just to bring it out a little more. Don't go crazy. Come in and do a couple of your lines. You can see it. But don't overdo it. Sometimes you can go a little crazy with the black. Come back up here. Do your landscape mountain. Bring it over. Jump over. You can do this side. Just add some more black lines. Just to give it some differentiation. Okay? And if you look at your drawing and you can barely make out the Hogan, you did it right because it's supposed to be kind of camouflaged into the landscape. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Navajo dwelling, Hogan, all colored in. It's interesting that their doors always face the east to welcome the rising sun for wealth and good fortune. Okay, bye-bye.